All right. Um, good morning. I'm recording a video about factoring for the Bridge PM math class group. Hi. Okay. So here's what's happening. I'm going to show again the process of factoring that we started working on Tuesday night. And I'm going to talk to you about what the assignment is for next Tuesday. Okay. Try to keep it quick. All right. So factors are whole numbers that fit into another number. So one times 60 makes 60. Therefore, one and 60 are factors of 60. When we were in class on Tuesday, we made a whole list of all the factors of 60, two and 30, three and 20, four and 15, five, 12, six, 10. We also talked about the operations. So you're gonna see the symbols here in green. Um, multiplication and division. Uh, we talked about how multiplication is uh, reversible, it's flexible. You can have three times 20, it's the same as 20 times three. We also talked about how division is not reversible. If I have 60 divided by three, that equals 20. Um, but if I have three divided by 60, that's gonna be something different. It's gonna be a small number. In fact, 1 20th, a fraction. <clears throat> we looked at how the, if you see here the green, when I have a division problem, it can actually be written quite a few different ways. So 60 divided by three here with the division symbol, 60 divided by three here, it's in a fraction form. We have a bar. This would be an improper fraction because it's final answer, 60 divided by three is a whole number, 20. Here we have the bar, the, I don't know, the L let's say that's used for division. So 60 divided by three. And then sometimes it's written with a slash, 60 divided by three. So we reviewed all that. <clears throat> so this morning, I'm just gonna show you how to find factors and we're gonna do oops, factors of 18 and factors of 19. And your assignment Your assignment is to find factors of all numbers from 20 to 35. So this is our, our warm up. We're <clears throat> refreshing our multiplication facts, getting ready to do our math class. All right, so factors of 18, numbers that go into 18. We have one and 18, we have two and nine, and we have three and six. All these numbers can go evenly into 18. And we have, so we have, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six factors. And I, I might just write my answer like this. Factors of 18, like this here, that's my messy notes, that's how I get my math done. Here's my final answer. One, two, three, six, nine, 18. So I'm just writing them out in order from smallest to largest. If I'm talking about the number 19, I can give that a good think. And I can think as hard as I want, but when I get to the end of it, the factors of 19 is just one 
and 19. That is because 19 is a prime number. So when you're doing your homework, you're going to start with 20. You're going to figure out all the factors of 20. 2, 10, 4, 5. I'm giving you some hints. Uh, and go on. Some of these numbers, the only factors they're going to have is 1 and themselves. So in this case, 19. When you have a number, when you have a number that all there is is 1 and 19 that goes into it, that's OK. It's a prime number. So if you've thought about it and you can't come up with a factor, you just write prime and you keep going. Okay, so that's my video for you. So you're going to find a piece of paper. You're gonna write down the numbers, 20, 21, 22, 23, blip, 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 all the way up to 35. You're gonna write for each one of those numbers all the factors you can think of. Then you're gonna take a picture of it and email it to me. Okay, that's the way we're doing homework this week because I think that's the easiest. Um, please try to email it to me before Monday morning. If you do that, then I have a chance to think about what I've seen and it'll make our class better on Tuesday. Great, have a good Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I will see you next week. I don't know how to stop recording, hold on. <laughs>